So I'm gonna announce the winner, the winner of my giveaway. It is. <laughs> Life is bigger than beauty. Hey y'all, it's Caprice with Bigger Than Beauty and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna go over all the items that I got in my $600 haul. Um, I went to four places, so Target, Macy's, Ulta, and Curl Bible. All right, I'm gonna show you guys everything I got and some of the products I'm gonna go over the pricing with you to show you that why it's always not the best bet to think you can get all the cheapest things at Target, okay, or Walmart. I got some really, really good deals at Ulta and Macy's, so you guys, let's get into it. All right, let's start with Target. So with Target, lash adhesive, okay? I really love Duo. The thing about this is um, it's the one that has the little applicator, okay? I love that. It's going to cut down on your drying time when applying your lashes. And I kind of blow it a little bit. A lot of the times you have the Duo that you squeeze out. Um, it works. It's great. But when you have a lash applicator, I'm just going to kind of open it up and show y'all. Um, it gives you, it looks like this. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. And it gives you some precision with where you place um, the glue on the lash. So I love this. This is the only glue that I use really particularly. It does come in clear. Um, I like the black because a lot of the times I will wear um, a black liner just to kind of hide the lashes a little bit. All right, so we know e.l.f. sells, um, excuse me, Target sells e.l.f. Um, their primer. This primer is amazing. I'm going to open it up. This primer was probably like... Five to eight dollars y'all don't quote me on that um this is a cannabis infused primer it's super moisturizing it has a lotion texture i'll let y'all kind of see that um so i have oily skin um but i like a primer that is hydrating sometimes so you can kind of see the difference and how it just like smoothed out texture brightened a little bit um I have oily skin, but I still like a primer that hydrates because a lot of the times I wear double wear, um, which can dry out my skin a little bit more, even though I have um, oily skin. So I like a really, really smooth texture underneath my foundation. It kind of just depends on what my skin is doing. Next thing. All right. I got some stuff from Lip Bar. All right. I love her products. Um, this lip liner is called Straight Lovin' and I'll open this and let you guys see it. It's more of a neutral based lip liner. Um, I love it. Y'all know I'm, people that will know me. I love a good neutral. So this is what it looks like. And this one is called Straight Lovin'. So you can do this with the brown. Um, they go on really, really smooth. Um, and they dry matte. Okay. Another product I got from Lip Bar is I got another lip liner, which is the red one. This one is Straight Face. I'll open up and let you guys see this one as well. All right, so straight face is like a red. It's more of a, it's going to be a bluer red. Can you see that? It's going to be much of a bluer red. I love it. All right, next thing. Um, I got a lip gloss from her. This one is called Control Freak. It's a pretty orange Can you see that? It's more of a deep orange. Um, I like it a lot. It's very opaque. If you don't like lip glosses that are like um, not sheer, then you might not like these. I like these because sometimes when it's, I don't feel like doing a whole bunch of lip liner and that stuff, it's great to have a lip gloss that's going to be super opaque in color and gives you a wash of color. You don't have to worry about like, you know, it being too sheer or wearing out. I'll say that. All right. I got my Fit Me's. I love Fit Me by, um, who did buy child? Who made Fit Me? Maybelline, of course, duh. All right. So the colors I got are 332 and 334. My old Fit Me was too light. Um, this one. And this one was 228. I don't know why. I, I don't, we ain't gonna talk about that, but fit me. Okay. This is a really good foundation for the ladies who have oily skin. Um, You want like a smoother texture and you don't want to invest in like, you know, $40 foundation. And that's a good foundation for oily to combination skin. All right. LA Girl, I have to restock on this. I haven't used this in a while. The color that I use is medium beige. Um, I use this to highlight under my eyes. The reason why 
I decided to purchase this again is because I, you know, spend a lot of makeup on, on, excuse me, spending a lot of money on drugstore makeup. You, you know, it's a couple bucks. Now, this was like $5 at Target. I seen them for $2.99 at other places. So I was being lazy and my other stuff hadn't came to the mail yet. So that's why I bought it at Target. All right, next thing. Um, I actually really like this. This is the Water Drop Primer from Wet n Wild. This is the cucumber one, okay? I'm gonna let y'all see the texture of this. Um, it's green, so it's like super cute. I like that. But the, the way that it dries down is what I love. If you see, it's like almost like a watery texture. And it make, it smells good too. It makes your, it's my, it reminds me of like candy, like back in the day, like um, pop rock candy. That's what it smells like, like pop rock candy. But it makes everything so silky, um, like a, not satin, just like a silky texture. So I really love that. And I was like, let me just try it. Um, and now that I tried it, I really, really love it. It comes in like rose and I think cucumber, I mean, excuse me, coconut. So, but I got the cucumber one. Again, my skin's oily, you guys, but I still like to have um, moisture underneath some of my foundations, especially double wear, if I am having like some dry patches like down in here. All right, next product. Um, These are the Shockwave liners from LA Girl. These liners are like waterproof. Um, They stay on for a long, long time. I'm going to swatch this yellow one so you can see it and the green one. Now, these were like $5 at Target. I bought them because I liked them. So I was like, whatever. Now, mind you, look how creamy that is. Like, can y'all see that? It's super creamy. I look for liners. Um, I wear a lot of cheap liners underneath my eyes that are not black. I have to have an eyeliner if it's going to be color i'll wear a cheaper one if it's black i have to wear name brand because i like a really dark black but these are bomb like due to these shockwaves so these are la la girl shockwave liners they're bomb okay they are super super bright now disclaimer in my opinion i always look for colors that i know are going to be opaque i stay away from like the purple sometimes i don't know what it is people can't seem to make purple like stand out it's always super sheer or like i don't know another color but the yellow and this turquoise blue you guys bomb all right so that was the end of my target stuff okay now let's get to my ulta honey ulta all right so i'm super excited about this stuff um at ulta i spent about oh and then at target you guys sorry i spent about 70 dollars at target and that was Probably about 10 to 15 things at Target, okay? At Ulta, baby, I got about 16 things and I spent $225. So I'm super excited about that. And a lot of the stuff was cheaper. So since we were still on these um, eyeliners, I got the pink one and I got the orange one, okay? This orange one, let's see if I know what it's called. It's called Outrage. The pink one is called um, Pop. And let me go back. The yellow one was called Screaming and the Turquoise one is called Fresh. All right. Same brand. These are LA Girl. Okay. Pink, orange. And I'll kind of open these up so you guys can see. And I'll do a swatch as well. All right. Look at that pink. Baby. Listen, honey. That's the pink one. All right. Now the orange. Oh, I should have did this earlier. I should have opened this earlier, darlings. And I guess I could have wore it today with this um, lip I got on. All right. This is the orange one. Bam. So is that a good way for you guys to see them? All right, so these are the exact same liners I just got at Target. They're just different colors because Target didn't have the bright ones. Y'all, at Ulta, they had a sale. I got these for $2.49. Target, same liner, same company, $5. So, with a little bit of patience, honey, I saved some money with these. All right, so those are my first things I got from Ulta. 
Fix Plus. Y'all know about Fix Plus. Um, it's amazing. Usually I get Mac at a discount. Um, I just couldn't wait. You know, with the coronavirus and everything going on, I had to restock up on my. So I got that for full price. Um, that wasn't on sale. Oh, what else did I get? Mac? Oh. This is the um fast the fast response eye cream for Mac. Um, y'all know about this. If you are crazy, you know what I'm saying. Um, makeup freak. I don't really need to go into too many details, but I will show you the texture. This eye cream is really, really good. I actually put it on today underneath my makeup. If I was feeling super tired last night, um, so today I wanted to just kind of get a refresher under my eyes, and then I haven't had any skincare, so I've been needing to re up on stuff. So I was waiting for all this stuff to come. Um, but it really smooths out texture. If you guys can kind of see that right there, I put it right on the knuckle. So it's our texture and it has caffeine. So it's going to awaken and kind of fill in any lines that you have, especially if you had a rough night the night before, or you're just super tired. I love Max, um, fast, fast response eye cream. It's going to be really, really good under, um, concealer. All right. Real techniques. So this, the four pack of real techniques at Target was $17.99. I got this four pack for $10 on Ulta com okay same um brand same four pack ten dollars now y'all gonna be like what's wrong with her i have i purchased about and the, you guys are gonna see in this haul i have three moisturizers that are basically the same but i couldn't pass up the deal my clinique dramatically different this is the gel the texture is going to be like a water texture again not water i would say more it's going to be a gel texture but it's going to feel like water on the skin. Um, it, this is really, really great if you have combination. So I'm just going to rub it all in. Combination to oily skin. Um, it was formulated to wear outside, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and also for to protect against um, environmental salt. So it's super lightweight. I like wearing lightweight stuff underneath my makeup. Unless I'm going to the beach, I will wear a sunscreen. Um moisturizer because i have gotten sunburnt before and it's not fun so this is one of my favorite again moisturizers i bought two of these um of the same but it's in another kit and then the other one has a cartridge i'll show you guys that in a minute and then the other one is a lotion texture okay um that one i believe was it was 28 dollars originally but i think i got it for a little cheaper all right so the acne foam cleanser from CeraVe, I'm going to show y'all this too. So acne foam cleanser, I've used this. This is so good, you guys. Like it doesn't foam um, a lot. It does have 4% benzoyl peroxide. So if you have someone who has acne, um, that's going to be great for you. It has a slight foam to it. Um, now what I do is, disclaimer, I do use two cleansers. I remove my makeup first with a, a makeup removing cleanser and then I go in. You are not going to be able to really treat the acne if you are using one cleanser and you have makeup on. The issue with it is you're taking off long wear makeup or if you have, you know, even if you're not using long wear makeup, um, your, your the cleansers are made to kind of sit, you know, on top of the skin. But guess what? What's already on top of the skin? Excuse me, they go under the skin. But on top of your skin, your, your pores are clogged. Um, and so you are not cleaning as well if you don't take your makeup off so i take my makeup off and i always go in with some type of cleanser this is the acne one so so far i've been using it for a couple days i do like it it's made a lot of my inflammation go down after that seven day challenge i did my skin was like toe up it was looking like a star crunch so that's really got my inflammation down the other thing i got from V was their um eye repair cream reduces dark the reduces the look of dark circles and puffiness all right i have not used this yet but i will open it up and let y'all see as you can see i got a few things that are the same a couple of eye creams a couple of moisturizers you can never had enough um and all this stuff was on sale i think i got this eye cream for um like seven dollars and remember this stuff is available at target it was full price at target this stuff i mean it was super cheap on ota so let me see if i can show you guys so this texture is going to be more of a creamy texture versus the mac fast response eye cream that one was going to be more like a gel okay so it evaporated a little bit easier this one is more like a lotion um excuse me a cream this one's more like a cream so this is great for nighttime i like to wear things like that at nighttime that are going to be a little bit heavier because i'm not putting makeup on top of it and then it's not going to um crease 
all right? Derma E, so this is a cleansing balm. I love to use a cleansing balm, get myself together, um, to remove my makeup. This one has rose hip, um, rose hip oil in it, and then um, some other things. Now, I've used this. Um, again, this is by Derma E, and this is from Onsa, and I got this on sale as well. I got this for about um, $7, okay? I like this product. Okay, I do. I'm not sure what it is. It smells really good. It has like a vitamin C kind of scent. Um, it bleached my towels. I don't know if it was the combination of the makeup that I was using or wearing that day. Um, it, now, it does say that rose hip, you know, it brightens. So, I'm not sure if that's what did it. But for me, you guys can try it. Again, this is not super expensive. Derma E, I think it was like $7, $5 to $7 um, on Ulta.com. Um, or when the store is open back up, you can get it at Ulta. It's great if you have dry skin. also has, oh, cocoa butter and shea butter oils um, in it as well. But my towels got bleached and i'm not particularly happy about that so i don't even know what the tea was with that all right so another cleansing balm i got was number seven um i haven't even opened this one yet so let me open it all right let's see what it's all about this one is going to be more of a solid more texture can you see that um, it's melting down the other one was more of a the derma e one was more of a hair grease texture maybe this one is more of a solid so that's the difference between the two okay this one more was this one was has a little bit more of a liquidy more texture and this one was more solid um same thing they remove makeup okay also hydrate um and then you want to you don't have to but again i go back over my makeup excuse me my cleanser those cleansers with a cleanser to clean my face dramatically different lotion now this is the same thing as the first one i showed you the clear one however it is yellow the difference between the two okay is that this one is going to be a little bit more hydration it is a lotion texture this one is a gel okay for me, this is a little too heavy to wear every day. Again, a combination to oily skin. Um, but I like it when I'm dry. So I got both of them. All right, bear with me. So Clinique, um, this is Clinique's Acne Solutions Toner. I have been using this toner faithfully for the last, oh, three years. I love it. It has um, salicylic acid in it. Um, and I use it with a cotton pad. Okay, so again, if you are interested in getting your acne clear, um, using an acne prone um, wash this is not a necessity but it's something that I would do two to three times a week to get the information down I use this every day and every night right after and then a moisturizer okay and that is going to start cleaning your skin out all right just some miscellaneous stuff I got um, I got some tea tree shampoo which was like 10 bucks if that um, oh, and I got this dried out product. Again, I like things that are going to take away acne. This is called Dried Out by Pacifica. This one has 2% um, salicylic acid in it. Now, there's not a lot of products. I use the Origin one. And I use the Estee, um, the Estee Lauder one and the Clinique one. I don't think any of those have 2%. Um, so this one has a higher percentage and it's vegan and cruelty free. I love that. It's in a little dropper. The only thing about this is it's a little tough to get out because the formula is a little thick. So I'm squeezing it. So eventually it does come out, but like you see how it's the formula is a little bit thick. So I don't mind it because when I put it on a spot, I really want it to stay in place and I don't want it, I want it to number one, evaporate quick, number two, stay in place. Sometimes when it's too liquidy, um, it'll, let me see if I can see that, it'll like just kind of slide off, especially if I'm being lazy and I should have did it five minutes before bed, I'm actually falling asleep as I'm doing it. I like that it's sticky. Essence eyeliner, um, this is like $3. I got like it, I got it for like $1.50. Um, again, with the Ulta sale. This is my favorite eyeliner. It's matte. It's cheap. It works good. And then it has a paintbrush tip. I'll show you the one that I've already been using. Um, it has a paintbrush tip. 
I am not a big fan of um, felt. As I progress the makeup, I used to use a lot of felt liners. They don't work for me anymore because they're not, they don't have enough slip and they tend to dry out a little bit more. So this Essence one, um, super precise eyeliner and it's matte, okay? When you're doing a look, you really wanna get an eyeliner that's matte. Um, if, it, because it just looks better when you're taking photos and when you're just out. If not, some of them have a shine. It's just not that attractive. All right. Two more things in the box from Ulta. Cleansing Balm. I told you I went a little bit crazy with the Cleansing Balm. This is Ulta's brand Cleansing Balm. And I'm going to open this too to show y'all. Or actually to smell it. Got to break it with my finger now. Um, this one says coconut oil and shea butter for normal skin. Again, I don't have normal skin, but I wash this stuff off. Mm, I wash it off anyway. So it's similar to the seven, number seven. Again, it's gonna be more of a solid texture. With these cleansing bombs, something I didn't say. I mean, you guys probably already know how to use cleansing bombs. With cleansing bombs, you um get a scoop of it, you put it directly on your makeup as is, like I do have on now. You put it on with no water, let it melt down the product, add water, it'll turn it'll start to emulsify, and then you're gonna go ahead and rinse it off. Okay, so it doesn't matter what brand, that is the general direction from using a cleansing balm, okay? Um, girl, Ulta, or boy, Ulta also carries, of course, you know, numerous brands. They also carry, brands, they also carry um, a body shop. So I got a tea tree um, facial cleansing wash. I haven't used this yet because um, I'm just kind of letting, you know, I got so much stuff. I'm letting some of my other stuff go down. Um, and it says suitable for blemished skin. So tea tree oil fights... Um, some bacteria is great for the scalp, great for acne, um, anything like that. So if your skin is like broke out prone, tea tree oil is really good for that. So I'm excited about that. And this is a lot. This is 13 ounces. This is a facial wash. It's not a body. This is not a body wash, you guys. This is 13 ounces. And I think this was like $8, like bomb. Moving right along, darlings. All right. Let's get to um, Curl Bible. All right, so I became an influencer on Curl Bible, you guys, and I got some goodies. So because you're an influencer, that does not mean you get product for free, hello. But um, you get it for a cheaper rate, of course. So what I did buy from Curl Bible is I got the Derma Organics um, Acne Booster Herbal Soap Paste, okay? Now, it's basically a face wash and a mask mixed together. I love it because it smells really, really, really good. And I like the texture. It kind of looks like a hair gel. Um, when you add water to it, it does start to turn like a light tan color. Uh, and then I also got some soap. I'll show you guys the soap. This one is from um, Old Natural You, and you can find them on Instagram as well. It comes in a three pack and I'll just kind of show you guys one. This is the honey, um, honey and oatmeal um, soap. I've already used one in the shower. It doesn't smell like honey um, a lot. I just like it for the texture. It has a really, really good emulsifying power. So I like it for the texture. I wish that they would have put a little bit more honey in it so that I can, it smells a little bit better. It doesn't stink. It just doesn't smell much like anything. All right. If you guys want to shop on Curl Bible, okay, I am an influencer for them. To get some coins off, use my code BTB29, okay? And that's Curl Bible. It's a black-owned beauty supply store. We spend a lot of money on other businesses. Support your black people, okay? And you, they have nail polishes, um, makeup, hair products, face products, all of that. So if you're interested in shopping, um, black and keeping it in our community okay use my code btb29 to get coins off okay all right macy's all right y'all so i i told y'all i got some of the same stuff but i couldn't help it all right so i'll show you guys this this is their cleansing machine you guys I, you get a the machine a pouch and the cleanser this originally was $85. I got the cleanser. How many ounces is this? Two and a half ounces. Okay, of the Clinique cleanser. This is a rinse off foam cleanser. The cute little pouch that the thing, you know, sits in. Blah, blah, blah. That ain't the fun part. This is the fun part. Um, it's a facial um, machine to cleanse your skin. Now, 
I like to use physical exfoliants to clean. People use a mask, that's great and everything, but because I have acne and things, my skin gets porous and texture wise, I like to physically buff things off, okay? And you know I got it too, cause it's purple. Um, so this is what it looks like. It says Clinique on the back and then it has a little thing. You push the button. That feels good. Um, anywho, water, I used to, I usually just, um, Put it under the, the faucet, let the water get on there, and then I put like a dollop of cleanser, whichever I'm choosing to use for the day. Um, and then I also rinse off because sometimes there's some makeup residue on there and I don't like it to kind of stain too much. Again, you guys, I got this for $45. Macy's had like 30% off plus some extra goodies on top of it. I got it for like, no, I'm, yeah, I got it for 40 something dollars. So that was basically almost 50% off, y'all. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. Mm -mm, pass it up. So I that was one of this is one of my favorite things that I've gotten so far. And that's from Macy's, okay? So do y'all see so far why it's like people I love Target. I'm a Target person. I, I don't care for Walmart too much. I do like Walmart. I just don't like the line. So I don't like it's like the lines be in the clothes. I don't I didn't come here for that. I don't want to be in the clothes, okay? So sometimes I'm like looking online. If you have the time and you have the patience and you're not outer product um you might want to shop online and kind of shop around a little bit because i just can't believe i got all this stuff for six hundred dollars all right this was a steal y'all i'm getting ready to show you off this is what it looks like but this is the box so again i got a six piece set this was thirty dollars this was like thirty four dollars you guys which is like 60 something or 70 in the store three full size product and three travel sizes i mean where was you gonna get how was you gonna be able to get that so shopping on a budget baby i'm gonna show y'all what it comes in it comes in this cute little case that you can um travel with oh all right and these are the full size look how big this toner is like how many ounces is this this is their 16 ounce all right so this kit was for combination skin so you got again the same cleanser excuse me the same moisturizer that i got earlier which is this one is the same one that is in this kit but i got i got a toner a moisturizer and a um cleanser so i couldn't pass up on this this was 30 something dollars i there's no way so i'm stocked up on skincare for a while all right um again same cleanser excuse me this i keep saying cleanser i just want to wash my face same moisturizer from clinique um the dramatically different the clear one however you guys see the orange packets and then that this is orange i'm going to explain to you what this is this comes with um their like vitamin c infused powder okay this is called fresh pressed these are powder like, you know, for the little drinks, but this is a cleanser. So it's going to brighten the skin, even out the skin. What I like to do is, it says put it with water, but I like to mix it in with a little bit of cleanser and I put that on the skin. I let it sit there for about five minutes um, to really kind of brighten. I feel like I'm getting a brightening sensation when I do it. All right. Now the cleanser, excuse me, the cleanser, the moisturizer um, with the cartridge. So it is the same moisturizer, but this one has a cartridge. Okay. So as you can see, it is not filled all the way up to the top. What you do is, you know, Clinique has created a system. There comes, there's several different ones. There's purple, there's blue, there's white. They're going to do different things. The orange one, which I purchased is going to be fatigue fighter. And it's also going to brighten the skin. Um, I need all the brightening I can get considering I'm a pimple popper and I do not like whiteheads or blackheads on my face. So I will pop my pimples. I don't care what y'all say. I ain't walking around with no white hairs on my face. Um, you basically pop this off and you stick it inside. And so that's way when you're done, it looks just like that. So you are getting um, serum and you're getting moisturizer all in one. Okay. So that's why I bought it. This set was $19.50. You guys go online and look it up. I think it's like 30 something for this by itself and like 20 something for this together. You guys, the set together was $19.50. $19.50. I couldn't pass it up. So that's why I have so many moisturizers. I mean, it'd be ridiculous. Do you know how many wings, 10 pieces I eat? I can buy a $20 moisturizer. I don't care if I have 50 of them, okay? 
Don't judge me. All right. I didn't need this, but I loved it. This is, um, it was so cute. This was the Benefit little travel kit. It is a little eye cream, a little um, emulsion, and then a little moisturizer. You guys, it's so cute. I've kind of used a little bit so you can see, but they're tiny. Um, this was $7.50. It was originally $15. Like, I'm not giving anyone $15 for samples. That's usually the cost of... Um, like sampler kits at Macy's, you'll see them like try to give it away or, you know, a GWP, um, you know, a purchase with the purchase rather PWP and it's $15. This was $7.50. This is really good um, for taking stuff with you when you're trying to pack light and you don't want to have all that bulk. A lot of the times as divas, we overpack. So I like to buy little stuff so that when I travel, I don't have to worry about having a whole bunch of BS with me. Okay. You guys. I'm going to shut it down with this one. I'm going to show y'all uh, what was my favorite, favorite thing I got from Macy's. Okay. What'd that say? Laura Mercier. Anybody that knows Laura Mercier, y'all know that her stuff is on. Not, It's not super expensive, but you're going to spend a little coin on it. Um, This is her Laura Mercier body and bath um, souffle. I'm particular to the almond and coconut milk one. I bought two of these. Um... You guys, these were 30% off. A 12 ounce, originally this 12 ounce is $70. I got both of these for um, $49. So I spent $100 on both of them. It is not a product that I buy a lot. I might buy it twice a year, if that. I use a little bit at a time. I can show you my other one that I do have. Here it is. This is the same one. So I've had this and you can see how much is left. I bought this last March. It is now May. Um, and I still have a ton left. So again, I don't use this every day. It's a luxury product. If I want to smell super good, um, you know, this is just like your feel good womanly thing. So I stocked up on it, you guys, because, you know, the Corona's here and I won't be going anywhere anytime soon but i wanted to take advantage of that i just couldn't believe it was 30 percent off so macy's great job with that great 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 job with that all righty so let me see i think that might be it i think that might be it yay for all the goodies i got you guys um i spent six hundred dollars you guys and i got so many things i just want to encourage you guys to shop online Shop around a few places before you commit to something, even if it's like a couple dollars. Like, to be honest, so many people are like faux bougie and, oh, honey, it doesn't matter to me. And, you know, I'll shop anywhere. To be honest with you guys, to save for a home, to save for the little things you want to do, if you want extra eat out money, right now is the time that you do want to shop around. You do want to compare prices because you can save 10 to $15 if you're going to be buying stuff in bulk. It's important to shop around. Again, the same liners I got from Target, I got at Ulta.com for 50% off, okay? The same thing with Macy's. Um, going to the Laura Mercier site, usually some of her stuff might be 10 to 15% off, but I got both of those creams for 30% off. Oh, and I got a GWP with that, I get for the purchase. So it was definitely an incentive to make me shop at Macy's.com. Um... You know, so I'm super excited about all the stuff I got. Again, all of the skincare I got is going to last me probably until um, the end of this year. Uh, I'm, it might be, yeah, until the end of this year, probably a bit, little bit more. Um, so I'm just super excited. I hope you guys liked everything again. And oh, so look, let me show you all the liners real quick. You guys, them LA Girl liners, look. So since I've been talking how they dry down, they're not moving. They ain't moving. They ain't moving. So, LA girl, good job with that. All righty. So, I'm going to announce the winner. The winner of my giveaway. It is JB Andrea on Instagram. Congratulations. I'm so happy you were dedicated. Thank you for supporting me. And I will have your... um all of your goodies ready for you and just i'm going to contact you so congratulations to jb and Dre on instagram again you guys all right thank you for tuning in watching my 600 um makeup and skincare haul you guys all right and remember life is bigger than beauty
Life is bigger than beauty.